Today we're going to talk about how you can use the Omniture Link Handler plugin to collect additional information about links that are being clicked on on your site. I recently worked with a client who had a large library of PDFs available for download on the site. Unfortunately, the file names associated with these PDFs were very cryptic and using the out-of-the-box download reports, they were having a very difficult time analyzing the data. However, they did have very friendly link names on the page that were associated with each of these PDF files. They came to me asking if there was an easy way that they could use that friendly name in their reporting rather than the cryptic name that was associated with the file download. To demonstrate how this can work, we'll use a very simple example using my site here. The Omniture Breakeven Calculator is an application that a colleague and I developed and over the years we've put out multiple versions. However, I've kept the package name the same, breakeven.zip. What I want to do is I want to be able to capture this link text, breakeven calculator version 2.0, into a variable so I know which specific versions were being downloaded. Now back to my client example, think about a whole list of PDFs with very cryptic names in here. We want to capture the, the friendly name of the PDF that was located here on the link. To demonstrate this, if I went ahead and clicked on this, the Omniture out-of-the-box download handler would probably fire and capture my download link. Let's try that now. Okay, so I'm using HTTP Fox here to look at the package that's been sent out to Omniture, and here is the request. If we scroll down, we can see that the download link was captured, and in this variable here we have the name of the zip file uh, that was downloaded. It's okay, but not perfect. We want to enrich this, and we want to capture this text as well when the link is clicked. So let's take a look about how we can do that. The first thing to do is to make sure you have the link handler plugin in your S code file. Here's what the plugin looks like. If you don't have the plugin, look uh, to my blog, and I will include the, uh, the plugin code there so you can simply copy and paste it into your S code file. Next, we need to add a block of code into the doPlugins function that will fire the link handler plugin and will capture that friendly name of that download link into a variable. Rather than write this myself, I reached out to Andreas, who is the god of Omniture coding and programming, and he provided this wonderful snippet of code, very clean and works perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the code that Andreas provided. I'm going to simply paste it into my doPlugins function. Let's walk through this and make sure you understand what's going on here. The first line is triggering the link handler plugin, and I'm passing into it two parameters. The first one is a string that I want the link handler plugin to look for. So I want the link handler plugin to look for any link on my site that has a .zip in it. And then I'm going to trigger this as a download link. Again, this is a very powerful plugin. You can enrich data about exit links and custom links as well. Now, if the URL is found, it comes into this if statement, and using existing objects that are available in your S code file, it's going to pull out the inner HTML or that friendly link name that was associated with that link. And I'm going to simply use that and assign it to evar2. Now, if we go ahead and, and save this, and if we reload the page here, And if we go ahead and fire this, the download link will fire again, but hopefully this time we have a little bit better information about that link that was clicked on. So let's go ahead and look at the image request that went out here. So if we scroll down, we will be able to see that uh, we are still capturing the package name, so breakeven.zip here. But if we scroll up, we will see that now in evar2, I've captured breakeven calculator version 2.0. Again, this can be very powerful. This is a very simplistic example, but you can, you can create functions to fire additional events, evars, props, capture additional data to enrich the data being, uh, that is associated with links on your site. Hopefully you found this useful, and I'd be interested to hear your use cases of how you are using the Link Handler plugin.